Welcome to the ET335 video on Tri-States and Decoder Logic Circuits Lab Part A where we're going to cover Tri-States. Okay, I have multi-sim open. We're going to do the first uh, Part 1A where we have a Tri-State and uh, I'm going to build that circuit. So let's go ahead and go to TTL and let's go to LS and we're going to go to 74 LS 125 and let's put A and cancel good so let's go to view and let's do zoom area but let's not go too far because I have to add a lot of stuff here good Actually, let's put it in the middle. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our logic input. So again, the easiest thing to do is go to basic, switch, and let's use our SPDT, single pole double throw. Okay, and that way we can get both logic inputs without messing around too much. So let's go ahead and take this guy and flip him horizontally. And let's put the input into there. Okay, and let's go ahead and grab a ground. And let's grab VCC. We'll put some logic levels in there, 5 and 0. And we're going to get rid of that message saying that it's powered internally, which is just fine with me. Okay, so let's copy and paste this. Let's move it around so I can get it to fit. Why is this thing moving around here? Anyway. Okay, that's good enough for now so let's take this guy and put it up here okay so we have two spaces here so if I hit the space bar I get them both to move so I don't want that so I'm going to call this guy E there we go right click and we'll make that a left click a right click and then let's go ahead and change the label value to we're going to call him E for enable so it's value okay and let's call this guy you need to get the whole device otherwise it just it won't behave there we go so let's call this guy D for data okay so now that we have these two switches here let's go ahead and put in our LA, uh, LED totem pole so we're going to need two resistors and let's go down to resistors and the lab says 220 I was not able to get that working on multi sim so let's go to 100 so I'm going to use 200 that worked for me earlier let's see if it does again okay so let's rotate these 90 degrees either direction okay so let's grab some LEDs. We're going to go over here to diodes. And we'll go down to LED. And let's use our green for low. And we're going to put him on top. And let's use a red for high. And let's put him on the bottom. Okay. And let's, we need a ground on the bottom one. Alrighty, so yeah, instead of moving, let's just use our wiring tool. Click, 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 click. Okay, so so we're gonna need VCC to drive this guy. Copy and paste. Alrighty, we got our circuit. So do we have everything where we could see it? Probably not. Let me see if I could uh, move this up where I don't have to shrink it too much. 
perfect. Beautiful. Okay. So, why our LEDs are on, I don't know. At this point, I don't care. So, let's go ahead and disable this. So, it's going to be high. High disable. We don't care what this is right now. So, it's fired up. And we should get both LEDs on. And we do. Okay. And no matter what I do with our data, it doesn't change anything. So what happens here is our 7475 tri-state is disabled. So this is high Z, high impedance, it's like an open switch. So we have a circuit, standalone circuit, power, LED, resistor, resistor, LED, and ground. So we have a continuous circuit and these resistors are low enough where we get current through it and able to light the LEDs. Okay, so let's go ahead and disable it. So let's hit our E. And now what we have is disabled. So now we're getting data in and data out. So we have a low in. And we should get a low out. So what we have is this LED is powered. And this is in the sinking mode. So we're providing a ground for this. So this guy is on. So if I go high... Alright, I got VCC in this guy high, so this is a high out. So now this guy's feeding 5 volts and he's sourcing this bottom LED. Okay, so sourcing power. Sinking, this guy's providing a ground path through it. Okay, and disable. We're going to completely isolate that circuit and we're going to get current through this little power pole here. Okay, let's do part 1B here. Instead of starting from scratch, let's just modify this guy. So let's go ahead and let's zoom all the way out to the sheet. There we go. And we'll, we'll dial it in a little bit. Okay, so let's get rid of that and take our little totem pole LEDs thingy majiggy here. So let's get rid of this. Okay, so now we have data one. And let's go ahead and let's copy. Actually, it's copy and paste the whole thing. And it looks like I got a couple stragglers, but that's okay, I'll clean it up. Okay, so we have another one. So let's go ahead and let's see if I could flip him vertically. Yes. And that's going to make it easier for me to hook our enable switch right here. Boink. And we need to go get a inverter. LS7404. And we're going to invert one of these signals. So we're going to take this switch, and this switch is going to be straight to this guy. And invert it to this. So this guy's D, so let's call him... We're going to call him F. Okay. So now we have these two, so let's go ahead. We're going to tie them both into this. LED tree over here. And we're going to drag our tree back so we could uh, so you could see what's going on. Let's move this over. Good. Alrighty. Can I squeeze it anymore? Nah, I dare not. Okay, let's go ahead and use view and let's zoom area. Good. So let's fire this thing up. And so we have a tri state up here with this data in and a tri state down here with this data in. What we have this with this inverter, only one of these tri states can be enabled at a time. 
Okay, and the only time these get enabled because of the bubble is low. So let's uh, turn it on, and we only should get one LED at a time. Okay, so we're green, so we're sourcing, so it should be, this guy here should be a low. And I take that back. Let's see here. High, inverter, low. So this, oh, here we go. So this guy's a low. Okay. And it's sinking. So let's go ahead and change D. And now we have a high in, high out. So we're going to get the lower one. So we're sourcing now. Okay, let's go back. We got a low in, low out. This guy is sinking. So let's change our enable. Good. So our enable means that this guy is active. And right now we're high. So we're sourcing through this lower LED. And let's go ahead and hit F. Or, uh, F. And now we have a, a low, which is providing a low which is sinking this LED. Good.